this is another example of possible sector assignments on on a fat system so this is uh, something we can skip for now and uh, let's talk a little bit about the root directory uh, so root directory is the data structure which is just a table that is made up of directory entries so um, it is located immediately after uh, the two file allocation tables on FAT16 like we have over here and uh, on FAT32 the, the physical location of root directory will be uh, in a place uh, specified by the volume boot record. All right, uh, so uh, long file names and short fi file names, like uh, eight characters for uh, the file name and three characters for extension, are supported. Uh, and uh, there are two different types of uh, directory entries to store information about long file names. Uh, the new entries are added to the directory using a first available or next available strategy so the first available so this really depends on the file system implementation uh, and uh, most of the time is just basically the next available uh, uh, which is uh, finding the next available entry from the last allocated entry and at the end of directory chain just start at the beginning um, this is because uh, the directory entries can be removed uh, it's possible to uh, essentially start with uh, with an empty directory uh, and then uh, allocate this allocate this allocate this uh, then go ahead and delete one of the uh, one of the files and first available would be like looking from the beginning and searching for the directory entries that is available or next available which means that um, ignore this although it was uh, deleted uh, previously and keep searching for the new blank one which would be this one so this is the next available and if we just happen to exhaust all of them only then um, if you keep searching and find out that all of them were previously used uh, then you only go and find the the first one that was previously deleted and so that strategy the next available is is more popular with later version uh, versions of the operating systems uh, because um, it's uh, trying to preserve as much as possible information uh, for possible recovery okay uh, so uh, for us to examine these directory entries and the sum of the attributes and times what i'm going to do next is that i'm going to copy uh, some information just a few files uh, to this drive so we can take a look at the results so first of all i'm going to uh, remove this evidence item so that uh, we don't have any interference uh, from the access data FTK imager and now I uh, go to my drive and uh, it's uh, empty right now so we're looking at the root directory uh, so I can uh, basically copy some files uh, right here uh, copy and paste these files right here okay and we can also create a subfolder so we can say well actually we'll do this later i'm not going to do it right now let's just look at the files so i just copied some files onto this drive and i'm going to reopen it in ftk imager physical drive and so this time if we uh, look at the root directory uh, we have some um, information that's available to us and uh, um, now you can see how uh, uh, FTK Imager is trying to give you not just uh, the uh, the content of the file but instantly show you the file slack which happens to be uh, pretty big because the file is very small but remember the size of my clusters are 32 sector size so it's basically 16 kilobyte so this little file that contains only this text 
um, and the size of this file if i switch to the properties you see that the logical size of the file is only 43 bytes um, which is the size of this uh, this uh, sentence right here uh, but uh, the its physical s space on disk is 16 kilobytes because uh, this is how big the clusters are on my drive after i make uh, i made this formatting um, uh, with default parameters well anyway so these are the uh, the attributes of the file so uh, so, um, uh, so these are the attributes of the file that are stored um, in uh, the directory empty so we have the name okay and uh, uh, we ha we have the type of the file so this is the regular file we have uh, a physical size and bytes um, um, basically logical size uh, the actual size that the user uh, knows but the file system has no chance but to allocate the entire a cluster of uh, 16 kilobytes and uh, that would be referred here to as physical size uh, see that the starting cluster is cluster number six date created date modified uh, the uh, actual file means whether it's been deleted or not so we can try to delete the file and see how this will look like and uh, um, uh, the cluster number is six but the actual physical uh, sector that corresponds to this uh, cluster is uh, a physical sector 703 and then this date access only stores the date uh, of access with uh, granularity like uh, one hour or so on the system and uh, then the uh, disk operating system attributes um, include the actual short file name which is this dog.txt um, the file is not hidden the file uh, is not a, a system file it is not a read-only file and archive attribute is set to indicate that this a file is ready to be archived by the backup utility um, so incremental backup strategies will allow the backup utility to reset this archive to false and when someone goes and modifies this file like starts uh, changing the content of it the archive attribute will be again set so that the next time incremental backup utility executes it will again pick up this file but if the archive file is not set then incremental backup will simply ignore this file considering that it doesn't have to be backed up a full backup would ignore this archive attribute and backup everything uh, that it finds um, on the drive all right uh, so these are uh, pretty much all the uh, all the attributes uh, that you can see and there are actually uh, 32 bytes uh, in each directory entry right so these are 32 byte size directory entries uh, later on we will see the actual directory entry structure uh, using different utility uh, but uh, there are also additional entries that may contain the files long name all right so uh, so this is the short file name sfn entry data and these are the actual bytes so basically what what is happening here right now is that for uh, each file like doc.txt dot underscore uh, we have uh, for e for every single file uh, we have a directory entry uh, that exists in the root directory and this root directory is basically has these directory entries for every file file select is added by the uh, ftk imager environment but we have these four files and they're part of the uh, root directory so this is the structure of every directory entry with all of the attributes um, and uh, so these are the file attributes and you can see that the flags um, the the flags that we're using is the the lowest bit uh, indicates read only the the second bit um, is hidden file then system file a uh, volume label is also 
a separate attribute and uh, in case if it's a long file name which is a separate uh, directory entry it has its own attribute combination uh, uh, remember I told you that directories themselves are stored as files so uh, if uh, the object that is stored here is a directory then it's uh, uh, a specific attribute uh, bit is also set and this is the archive attribute uh, which is the uh, third one from the left yeah and uh, we do have the uh, uh, the entry in our root directory um, which are supposed to give us our volume information this volume label so our volume label is stored, um, well, I guess uh, as we have this binary dump uh, right here, this is the volume label. This is the very first, the very first 32-bit uh, entry right here. This entry is the volume uh, label entry and uh, its uh, attribute should be set right here. So the FTK imager simply does not show it as a separate uh, item. Uh, in this view but this first entry was placed here by format utility because we specified that we'd like to uh, make the volume label of this uh, file system Kingston so we will have uh, many more chances to examine uh, fat system structures in our future uh, labs uh, but today this is a brief overview of all uh, components visible here in FTK Imager view. And you see that uh, we have a little bit of information also displayed in this detail view like date modified. Um, and uh, the sizes here are shown by default in kilobytes.